welcome i will show you the application of derivative as a rate measure i will show you that how sums can be done quickly but one thing i have to remember that i will take time to explain so see the first sum it is given that a man is flying a kite the kite is at a height of 100 meter the cord is 260 meter in this situation his cord is being paid out and the kite is moving in a horizontal direction with a speed of 6.5 meter per second how fast is the cord being paid out the kite is moving in horizontal direction with the speed of 6.5 meter per second. Let us assume this is x, this is r. So from this figure, we can say x square plus 100 square equals to r square. Because this 100 is always remaining constant. Now if we are differentiating, what we can write 2x dx dt equals to, this is 0, 2r dr dt. Now it is given that dx dt is 6.5 and x and 2, 2 we can cut x we have to find x equals to root of 260 square minus 100 square 260 square minus 100 square that is equals to 260 plus 100 is 360 and 260 minus 100 is 160 36 square root is 6 16 its square root is 4 to 0 so 1 0 will come that is 240 so x is 240 dx dt is given as 6.5 equals to r r is 260 into dr that we are going to find so what will be dr dt dr dt equals to 24 into 6.5 by 26 13 to the 13 5 5 to the 10 6 so this is equals to 6 meter per second that much we have to do this is simple not taking much time now see the second sum it is given that a gas is escaping from a spherical balloon at the rate of 2 cm cube per second. How fast is the surface radius changing? When radius is given as 12 cm. So, since the spherical balloon, we are knowing V equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now, dv dt equals to 4 by 3 pi in 3 r square dr dt. Now, since it is in gas is escaping, so we will put dv dt negative. So, what is coming? 
how fast is the charge they get this is the noun surface area is equal to 4 pi r square so what we can say ds dt equals to 4 pi into 2r dr dt now we have to find dr dt here dv dt is given as 2 we can put here minus or dv dt we can put as minus 2 dv dt minus 2 equals to this one 4 by 3 pi 3 r square dr dt 3 3 we can cut so ds dt equals to 4 pi into 2 r when r is 12 centimeter into 2 into 12 into dr dt dr dt what is coming hmm? minus 2 by it is coming 4 pi r square and r is 12 centimeter so what we are getting 4 by 4 by we can cut 12 12 we can cut 2 6 the 2 3 the equals to minus 1 by 3 is the unit is centimeter surface area so it is centimeter square per second in this way you can easily calculate this now we can proceed to the third question and see here we have to face different type of questions and we have to do it what it is mentioned that a vessel is there is in the form of an inverted bowl. It is in the form of an inverted bowl. Its vertical angle is 60 degree. This angle is given at 60 degree. Now we are knowing these two sides are equal. So these two angles will also be equal. From easily we can conclude this angle also 60 degree, this angle will also be 60 degree. This is not provided. What are leak out at this much centimeter cube per second? Find the rate of exposure of the inner surface when water is this much. Let us assume this we are assuming H. This is R. So we are knowing v equals to it is a cone so 1 by 3 pi r square h again one thing we can here h by r perpendicular by b is 1060 1060 root 3 or h equals to r root 3 or r equals to h by root 3 Whatever is required afterwards will be placed. So this is equal to 1 by 3 pi. So R square will be H square by 3. H square and H, H cube by 3. So now we can say dv dt equals to pi by 9 into 3h square dh dt now if dv dt is given 0 0.05 centimeter cube per second that is 0 0.05 equals to this one
what is given? We have to find the, <coughs> the in water limited, find the rate of exposure of the inner surface area. Inner surface area, this surface area This surface area you are knowing S equals to pi R S is equal to pi R L that is equal to pi R we have done H by root 3 and L L is root of h square plus r square r square will be h square by 3 equals to pi h by root 3 if we are doing 3 h square plus h square will be 4 h square so 2 h will come and here it will be root 3 so it is coming pi by 3 into 2 h square so dsdt equals to pi by 3 into 2 into 2 h dhdt what is dhdt we calculated is this one dhdt we can put it pi by 3 into 4 h into dhdt 0 0.05 we can write as 5 by 100 into 9 by pi into 3 h square now we are knowing that value of h as 6 centimeter so we can write this one as pi by 3 into 4 into 6 into 5 by 100 into 9 by pi into 1 by 3 and h is 6 so its square will be 36 pi pi we can cut 4 9 36 we can cut 3 to the 6 2 5 it will be 10 so if this becomes nothing remains 1 by 30 but the surface area so it will be centimeter square per second in this way we can do these sums i think i can able to explain thank you